Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. It's 20 minutes before 7. This is Marv Howard, KHJ 2020 News. Leaders of the U.S. Moonshot Program have ordered current production to go ahead despite the flash fire that killed the three astronauts. At the Washington News Conference just concluded, a space agency official revealed the men died of asphyxiation in their fire-engulfed capsule after vainly struggling to escape it. He said two investigators have not yet determined exactly what started the fatal blares. Nutmeg trippers on the increase. The report and that of extra sports upcoming on KHJ 2020 News. Lawns and shopping bank where extras are yours. No extra cost, no extra cost. Lawns and shopping bank where extras are yours. Barnes and shopping bag markets are where you get those delicious, oh boy, fresh frozen stuffed potato boats made of prime fresh potatoes. Oh boy, peels each potato and mashes it with fine herbs and seasonings and tops it with aged cheddar cheese or pure sour cream and chives. Then, oh boy, fresh freezes all this goodness in specially designed aluminum boats. All you do is pop them in the oven, then serve them piping hot. Remember, oh boy, fresh frozen stuffed potato boats are made of prime fresh potatoes, fresh frozen in specially designed aluminum boats. Oh boy, frozen stuffed potato boats. So easy to serve and so good to eat. Get some next time you're at Bonds and Shopping Bag. Pacific Palisades protest reported a success. We have the story now, KHA Mobile News man Bill Brown. A tiny group of Pacific Palisades children, uh, the Victors, and the great big state highway department admits defeat. A placard carrying children had ticketed for almost one week in a battle to prevent the state from tearing down a pedestrian bridge over Pacific Coast Highway. One of their favorite routes to the beach over the busy coast. University of California Regents met in a dead-end emergency session today and voted to postpone consideration of a tuition until the regular meeting at Santa Barbara later this month, according to Assembly Speaker Jess Unruh. Positive that as of this moment, there are not enough votes on the Regents to impose tuition. Uh, whether they can get the votes or not between now and the next two weeks, uh, I do not know. But I do know, as of now, there are not nearly enough votes there to impose tuition. Outside the Regents' meeting, a big rally with Bob Brengler of the California Federation of Students telling 2020 News. I would like to see some student representation on uh, the Regents' meetings to, do, to choose uh, a new uh, president of the university. Uh, we think we have a voice in this. It's important for us. We think we should be there. The district attorney's office has refused to issue a complaint against unsensitive coffee house owner Al Mitchell, arrested Wednesday on suspicion of statutory rape. The 17 year old girl in question had been lying about the incident, reported Mitchell's attorney, Marvin Kahn. She did tell them that on Thursday night she had been at the Fifth Estate and Al Mitchell had made her go home because she appeared to be under the influence of some narcotic and that she was angry at him and that's why. She made the statement. America's foremost authority on LSD is UCLA Professor J. Thomas Ungerleiter, or is it Dr. Timothy Leary? Hear them both as Art Kevin examines the hallucination generation all day Sunday on 2020 News. The use of nutmeg to trip out is getting a play also. Roger Pro reports on that from Fresno. Well, the nutmeg kick is here. Four girls at a local junior high school brought several cans of the seasoning to class yesterday and sniffed instead of studied. One girl became hysterical in class. Another ran screaming from the cafeteria at lunchtime, claiming her hamburger was trying to devour her. Another girl became violently ill. School authorities say the girls tried the experiment after reading about it in a local newspaper. Nutmeg reportedly gives hallucinatory effects similar to LSD if inhaled in great quantity. In Fresno, this is Roger Pro for KHJ 2020 News. KHJ headlines, one eight line, Mexico City. Four newborn girls, the survivors of Mexico's first quintuplets, were rushed by ambulance to Mexico City tonight from the rude peasant hut, where they were born by candlelight on a makeshift bed of branches. The body of the fifth baby, also a girl, lay in a shoebox on the earthen floor of the hut to await burial. Doctors at the Social Security Hospital in Mexico City report the four surviving girls are in good condition. After their birth, the babies were 
were placed in a wooden box hanging from the ceiling of the hut to keep them as warm as possible. New York City, the four surviving members of the Quince, born to Mrs. Lionel Harris of Brooklyn, are reported doing well, but it will be quite a while before they can go home. K.H.J. Danny Baxter, sports! Florida's Tom Weisskopf leads the Bob Hope Desert Classic by a single stroke after three rounds of play with a 210 total, but... It may be the state of Minnesota that will take credit for Weisskopf's fast improvement of late on the links. Uh, Minnesota contributed the one vital ingredient which usually marks success on the PGA Tour for any young golfer, a happy marriage. Uh, Weisskopf's new mate, Gene, a year ago was Miss Minnesota, a winner of the Best Talent Award in the Miss America pageant, and with a personality that, believe me, more than matches her remarkable beauty. Gene Weisskopf, like Mrs. Billy Casper and so many other wives of the touring professionals, watches her husband's protein diet like a hawk. Now, Tom Weisskopf, as a result, has admitted to KHJ Sports that he has had more strength, more stamina since being married. Chi-Chi Rodriguez is a stroke back, Billy Casper, Jack Nicholas two, Arnold Palmer is three strokes back, but Weisskopf is in the best position of his young career to earn his first PGA Tournament victory. Now, along Highway 111 from Palm Springs to Indio, billboard advertising tells of the romance of the date. It's a story of a fruit which flourishes and produces best when mated. It appears Tom Weisskopf, the Desert Classic third-round leader, has read that story. From Palm Springs, that sports the way I see it, Danny Baxter for KHJ 2020 News. Remember when grapefruit was just for breakfast? Not anymore. Not since Canada Dry took the plain old grapefruit and blended it into one of the most sophisticated soft drinks around. The Canada Dry Wink Grapefruit Drink. Canada Dry took the sharpness out of grapefruit, the pulp, peel, pits, and sparkling eye, too. But Canada Dry left in all the true fruit, grapefruit goodness, and added its exclusive pinpoint carbonation, just the right amount of tiny, lively, long-lasting bubbles. You'll find Wink the Sassy One at your neighborhood bonds and shopping bag markets. Pick up a carton tonight. Wink, the perfect thirst cutter any time of day. And after dark, well, why should lemons and limes have all the fun? Save on genuine color flight Melmac dinnerware by Lennox. Only at Vons and Shopping Bag. This first week, 33 cents brings you a regular 77 cent decorated dinner plate with every $3 purchase. Start your set at Vons and Shopping Bag now. KHJ Weather. Just to have much more music and humble harv. Look for clear skies and gusty canyon winds. Total night 50, high tomorrow 78. Here in Hollywood now, 67 degrees. This is Marv Howard. 93 KHJ, million dollar weekend. Land